Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel Medicals Factory. Today, the another part of drug metabolism is going to discuss in this session. In case of doubt, use comment section and do subscribe the channel for such amazing content for you all at free of cost. So let's begin. Enzyme induction. Microsomal enzymes are located in the microsomes that line the smooth endoplasmic reticulum of the liver cell. And synthesis of this enzyme is enhanced by certain drugs and environment pollutants. This is called enzyme induction. Examples are phenobarbitone, rifampicin, alcohol and cigarette smokes. Next is clinical relevance of microsomal enzyme induction. First is drug interaction and drug in drug interaction therapeutic failure. By speeding up metabolism, enzyme induction may reduce the duration of action. of some other drug which can result in therapeutic failure. Example is rifampicin. Next is tolerance to drug. Example is carbama, zepin. Because it induces its own metabolism called Auto induction. Third is result in disease. Anti epileptics enhance the breakdown of vitamin D, resulting in osteomalacia on long term administration. Fourth is variable response. In chronic smokers and alcoholics, Enzyme induction fails to achieve expected response. And the last is therapeutic application of enzyme induction. Neonates are deficient in both microsomal and non microsomal enzymes. Hence, their capacity to conjugate bilirubin is low, which results in jaundice. Understand? So next is enzyme inhibition. Many drugs can inhibit cytochrome P450 enzymes. Enzyme inhibitors competitively inhibits the metabolizing enzyme. It decreases metabolism of other drugs and increases plasma level of other drugs. Enzyme inhibition by drug is the basis of several drug interaction. Examples are ketokanazole, omeprazole, erythromycin, etc. Now, peculiarities. Enzyme inhibition occurs by direct inactivation of metabolizing enzyme. So, inhibition occurs very fast within hours. Hepatic blood flow. Here, propanolol is combined with lidocaine to enhance therapeutic activity. Consequences of enzyme inhibition. So, adverse drug reactions. Adverse drug reaction is any response to drug which is noxious, that is harmful, and unintended and occurs at therapeutic doses used in for prophylaxis diagnosis and therapy of disease so based on it let's see some examples so when theophylline is combined with chloramphenicol it decreases metabolism of 
theophylline and increase side effect like nausea, vomiting and tremors. Next, when dicumarol is combined with cimetidine, it decreases metabolism of dicumarol and increases risk of bleeding due to dicumarol. So the next is therapeutic application. It means application for preventing and treating disease condition. First is example. First is levodopa plus carbidopa. Carbidopa inhibits decarboxylase enzyme. It decreases degradation of levodopa. And more amount of levodopa can cross blood brain barrier because of degradation of levodopa. Next is neostigmine plus D tubo curatine. Neostigmine inhibits acetylcholine esterase enzyme. It increases egg level and that's a reversal of skeletal muscle paralyzed by D tubo curatine. So the next is suicide inhibitors. With some drug binding to enzymes may be irreversible leading to inactivation of enzyme and such substract are called suicide inhibitors. Examples are clopidogrel, diclopidine and etc. Now factors affecting metabolism. First factor is age. In neonates, microsomal enzymes are not mature, so increased risk of drug toxicity. Example is prolamphenicol cause gray baby syndrome. In elder, less hepatic blood flow and reduced microsomal enzyme may cause toxicities. Second factor is sex. If hexobarbital is given in rats, Sedative effect is more in male than female rates. Hexobarbital is sedative drug generally used for anesthetic purpose. So the third factor is species. If atropine eye drops are installed in rabbits and humans, duration of action is less in rabbits than humans. Cause Rabbit has atropic esterase, which degrades atropine. Next is genetics. In genetics, hereditary causes. Fifth factor is nutrition. Diet rich in protein and low carbohydrates. It gives induced rate of metabolism of many drugs. And the last factor, disease. In liver disease, hepatitis, cirrhosis, etc., metabolizing enzymes are less. So, I hope this session is helpful to you. In case of doubt, use comment section. Subscribe the channel and share the videos with your friends. Have a nice day. Bye bye.